Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today we're going to talk about JMeter versus K6 for the best performance testing tool. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. I make content to help you on your manual as well as automation QA journey. Now back to the video. The purpose of performance testing tools are to simulate what will happen to your system or application under different circumstances and workloads. One of the most popular forms of performance testing is load testing, where you're sending different loads or amount of like simulated users to an application and you're gonna see how your application responds. Is it gonna crash? Does it slow down? Does it stay consistent? You're gonna do load testing to figure that out. Two of the most popular tools for that today include JMeter and K6. The best part, both of them are free to use and open source so you can download them and start using them today. So now let's go into where both of them shine. We're gonna start with JMeter because that's the older, more traditional one. The first thing in favor of JMeter and probably the deciding factor for a lot of people is the GUI that JMeter provides. This helps regular developers as well as non-technical people who don't know how to code write tests because you can just drag and drop things and it's a lot easier to create a simple test. Whereas for K6, everything is done via command lines and command lines scares a lot of people. Next, JMeter has been around for 20 plus years. K6 has been around for less than 10 years. So by default with 20 years of experience, a lot of things JMeter already has. For example, a much larger user community. So if you're stuck with a problem, you can go to Stack Overflow or Google and probably found a solution where it might be harder with K6. Next, third-party applications. There's 20 years of third-party applications working with JMeter. So by default, it has more options. And because JMeter is just so much older, it supports a lot of older protocols, where K6 might just support some of the newer protocols. So depending on the protocols that you're testing, you might need JMeter. Another pro for JMeter are the built-in HTML reports. Now let's talk about K6. Right out of the box, K6, once you download it, has most of the features that you need to write a test right away. Whereas JMeter requires some plugins usually. Also, the installation process for K6 is very easy. In 10 minutes, you can download it, get it up, and run your first test. K6 was also built with performance in mind. So try to use as few resources as possible. For example, K6 doesn't launch a browser by default because browsers take more resources. Whereas JMeter doesn't care. It's just focused on running a test. So if your JMeter test requires some amount of resources, you gotta make sure your computer actually has those resources free to allocate for it. Whereas with K6, you don't have to worry about those problems. K6 also supports the creation of thresholds at test levels such as failing the test if 80% of the response time is greater than 10 seconds. K6 also allows for more threads and virtual users. If you have no idea, once you get into using the performance testing tools, you understand that, but it's very important while using less resources still, as mentioned previously. And finally, K6 is better for collaboration because it's written in JavaScript. Whereas JMeter is written in Java and creates XML files for its test. So trying to share an XML file and edit that versus just editing simple JavaScript it's two totally different ball games. Now let's wrap it up. K6 and JMeter are both two very wonderful tools. But by answering a few questions, you probably can see which tool is best for you. First off, are you comfortable with using command line interface or do you rather a GUI? If you rather a GUI, then you need JMeter. If you're comfortable with command line, K6. Will you be working by yourself or with the team? If you're working by yourself, they might be better with JMeter. If you're working with the team and multiple people will be editing your tests, they might work with K6. Will you be using all the protocols in your tests? K6 might not support them, so you might need JMeter. Does your machine that you're running these tests on have limited resources? If they do, go with K6. Once you can answer these questions, you can figure out which is best for you, as I said. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions 
or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. If you need help in your QA journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Terminology. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.